Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today once again back here at QST, more specifically the Dino Cell with the Mark V Golf GTI. Now, if you guys watched a recent video with the car, you'll know that the car actually dino pretty strong stock. I think it was 197 brake, so three horsepower down from the state of 200 back when the car was brand new. Today, we're gonna to be doing a stage one ECU and TCU software, basically to make the car feel a lot more drivable. The torque really isn't there. I think it dynoed uh, 292, um, which it's not bad, it's strong for the car, but dare I say it compared to what I'm used to, it's, it's just not there. Being a six speed as well, you have to like change down to third to overtake someone. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. And also the gearbox is quite sluggish. Um, being a DSG, an old DSG, um, yeah, it's not the quickest. So the TCU will speed up shifts uh, and make it feel a lot more spicy. So obviously Alex is here, busy at the moment. I'll, I'll collar him in a minute introduce him and we'll get cracking with the tune. And then later on, once everything's all done, once Alex has road tested it, make sure he's happy with it, then I'll take it home and probably have a lot of giggles on the way as well. The first modification for the car, there's gonna be a lot more coming. The more I think about it, the more I think I really wanna go mental on this thing. Um, I'd expect maybe 250 horsepower today, so 50 up from standard, but it's gonna make a difference. And it's the first mod, so we love that. Here he is once again, main man Alex. Don't know why I said that, welcome back. Main, main man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tuning, right, we're, we're doing some bits of the GTI at last. We are. Um, we ran the car in a recent video and it ran pretty well. 197? Yeah. Logs all perfect on it yeah. for a stock car, made bang on power for a stock car. Brilliant. Nothing to report back from the health check, so yeah, it was a good healthy car. All good to go, ready for the, the so, tuning really. Yeah, yeah, so we've already flashed our stage one ECU software on it. Yep. Um, see now our TCU software is now flashing in there. Ooh. Um, so that's flashing right now. Um, so once they're both in there, the car will then be run again. Um, probably do three or four runs to get the yep. data from the car. Um, but it's just our production tune, so it works every time. So just in the case of data logging it, make sure the car's still fit and healthy, <laughs> verifying the power, uh, brief road test, then back over to Luke. With a Lovely. Of horsepower and torque. Yeah, and then I can have a nice fun drive home. I mean, like I've said in previous videos, and actually to you as well, it's the torque which I know is going to be the biggest difference. Yeah, well, it's, it's a pretty big horsepower gain on these as well. You've been yeah. gaining at least sort of 50 horsepower mm. as well. Um, like a quarter so of the overall yeah, so, power, yeah, it's, really. It's yeah, it's a big gain in terms of horsepower and torque as well. Yeah, and it's, uh, to be honest, I've never ever done a stage one before. I've always just gone straight to stage two. Done the leap, yeah. Yeah, but I think for this, it will make a big difference. Be especially. Interesting, yeah, especially what you were saying earlier about the going more power later down the line as yep. well, uh, with like a KO4 as well, mm. um, and yeah. some fueling upgrades. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun, and you can document with everyone doing it step by step. That's it, um, yeah. Comparing different Hardware, so yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it should be a yeah, it's going to be a nice little, uh, well, yeah, like as you said, a nice little project. So, yeah, the TCU software is just flashing at the moment. Then we'll dyno it, uh, like Alex said, do three or four runs, yeah. make sure everything's so all right. The DQ 250, yeah, CXX box in these. Um, a lot of these are actually manual, but this is a DSG with the DQ 250, so that's flashing now. Yeah, then yeah, cool. Actually, I did go in, it was a stage two plus Mark V. And he had his that DSG. 30, was it? No, it was just, just like literally like mine. Two, seven, five, two, eight, one, yeah, right? yeah. Um, and he had his TCU on there, and it was like it's a, a lot, lot better. Yeah. Yeah, 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 especially on the downshift because on this it's quite juddery. Yeah, you especially get a rev match on the downshift. Yeah, which, that's oh, yeah, it. You don't get. Yeah, um, so. yeah. We do loads of different ECU TCU combos, but your car's getting our own in-house ECU mm -hmm. and TCU software, so it will mate up really nicely as well. Brilliant. Perfect. All right then. Well, that's probably nearly done now, and then um, we'll oh, crack the dyno up. I wish it was nearly done. We'll, we'll say that just for the for the <laughs> for the sleekness yeah, no, it's of the video. Now, oh, yeah. oh, how Obviously, convenient! Oh, it's just done. These, these cars are MED9, so the ECU <laughs> takes one, the TC on the old ones takes a while as well. Got to uh, um, yeah, get it all sorted, oh, and then yeah, cool. get the dyno up and running, and uh, well, see what it makes again. <laughs> all the gains. All the gains. We love the gains.
Okay, three runs done. Yeah. I think we made some pretty good power. Good I think. gains on it, yeah. Um, so data logged the car, ran the car three times, gathered the data. Um, car's running exceptionally well again. Um, so from the stock to, ch to our stage one tune, sorry, uh, we've gained 50 horsepower and 75 newton meters of torque. Um, so a quarter of the vehicle's power gained. So super impressive gains on that, and you'll definitely notice the difference yeah. there. Yeah. Um, nice smooth power graph. Yeah, peaking at 246 miles to 247 horsepower and 371.7, so 317 meters of torque. The faint line there is your mm -hmm. OEM, your original tune. Okay, yeah. Um, so if you look there, especially the sort of mid range, so from mm. like 28 to, well, the whole way through, but 28 to sort of 4, 4 ish, you can look at that massive gain yeah. in horsepower and torque there. You're gaining like 80 newton meters of torque in that little bit there. That's um, going to be so, so you're, you're gaining a so massive good. amount of power and it's holding the power out a lot longer as well whereas mm -hmm. before you're sort of flatlining whereas now it's still building the power there perfect um so yeah massive gains really noticeable um then faster gear shifts as well the tcu tune yeah. as well yeah um so yeah. sorted one transform job's, gti job's well thank you very much no worries, um i guess you'll take it out just for a quick road test just to make sure everything's all okay yeah and then um it'll be home time for me and i can have a little first drive Get I can't some, wait for that. Get some reaction. Yeah, definitely. Feel that talk. How long you lose to That's it, yeah. And well, you've had the whole check done as well, so you know, you know you're gotta, safe as well. Yeah, that's it. Lovely yeah. stuff. Well, thank you very much yeah. again. No worries, thank you for coming down. Okay, folks, here we are. Just leaving QST in what is now my stage one tuned Mark V GTI. Very, very excited. And obviously, once, actually, no, we are up to temperature. Okay, cool. Let the Ragging commands. Wow. <laughs> God, it revs so much quicker. I mean, the downshifts as well. <laughs> Albeit they're not loud, they're quicker. And that's uh, it's a, it's a small win. <laughs> An extra 50 or so horsepower really does make the difference. It genuinely does. And actually, I've just realized, probably can't see me very well. It's getting dark very, very quickly at the moment, which is very irritating, but oh well, we're having fun. That's all that matters. God, it is lively now, I'll tell you that. Tunnel. God, those shifts are so much better. Now, I'm not really gonna be able to portray this very well because the car isn't that loud, so you can't really hear the shifts, but... Uh, they're so much quicker, so much quicker. <laughs> this is awesome. Now, when we've got a proper day, some nice weather and actually some daylight, then, um, I'll go for a proper blast in this. Well, I'll give you guys a bit of an update video, perhaps what my thoughts are with the car, um, what modifications I'm thinking of, uh, and bits and bobs like that. But for now, I think I'm gonna have to, well, basically, call it a day, really. It's getting dark, and I've got some motorway ahead of me, so it's not really gonna get much better from this. So yeah, um, once again, a massive thank you to the guys over at QST. They have done a lovely job as per usual. Uh, it was actually a bit of a surprise to go for the TCU uh, remap as well. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad that I've done that though, because these gear shifts are a million times better. But anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, that's gonna wrap things up for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Once again, you can find all of QST's links down in the description down below. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.